That same customer is also added to the customer support app, and the two records are linked together. You can then use that link in other pipelines. In the second pipeline, when the customer information is updated in the customer support app, the pipeline fetches the linked record in the contracts app and updates it as well. By linking records, you can fetch the exact record without having to set up a search step. Looking at Chantel's Contracts app, you see the Customers table. It contains all customers who have or have had contracts with Catabay. Looking at an individual customer's record, you see fields such as customer's name, phone number, address, and more. The corresponding table in the Customer Support app is named Companies. Looking at the record for Alden, you see similar fields and information to that in the Contracts app. You know that Chantel needs two pipelines. The first pipeline has two steps, a trigger and an action. The pipeline triggers when Chantel adds a new customer to the customer's table in the Catabay Contracts PI02 app. The pipeline then creates a new record in the company's table in the Catabay Customer Support PI02 app. Within the action, Chantel links the record back to the record in the trigger. Let's look at the two apps and help Chantel build the first pipeline. Each app has one table that is important for the pipeline. For the Catabay Contracts PI02 app, it's the Customers table. Looking at an individual company record such as Alden, you see several expected fields containing address and phone information. You also see fields from child tables, such as the Contacts and Contracts tables. These child tables are not used in this pipeline. The important table for this pipeline in the Catabay Customer Support PI02 app is named Companies. Looking at Alden's record, you see similar company detail fields, as well as the fields from the child tables. Switching to Pipelines, create a new pipeline and give it a name, such as Link and Add New Records from Contracts to CS. The first step is a trigger when a new customer record is added to the Customers table in the Catabay Contracts app. Select the account and the Customers table from the app, and then specify the fields from the Customer Details area of a record, including the customer's name, various address fields, phone numbers, and more. The second step is the Create Record Action. Select the account, and this time select the Companies table from the Catabay Customer Support app. The Company Name field already appears and needs to be filled in. This is a required field and is selected for you. In the Select Fields to Specify Values area, select all remaining fields. Drag and drop the fields from the Available Fields panel to the selected fields. A last important step is to create the link between the company's record in Step B with the customer's record in Step A. Click the Link drop-down and select the QuickBase record. The pipeline is now finished and ready for testing. Turn on the pipeline. Returning to the Contracts app, add a new customer. After saving the new customer, switch back to the pipeline. The output in the activity log reflects the trigger in Step A and the new record created in Step B. Now you can check to see the new record in the Customer Support App's Companies table. Clicking the record shows the details that the pipeline pulled over from the Contracts app. You now have the first of two pipelines completed and have linked the record in the Customer Support app to that in the Contracts app. You need to set up a second pipeline to handle updates. The second pipeline connects the linked record in the Customer Support app back to the record in the Contracts app for updates. Let's think through what Chantel needs the pipeline to do. This pipeline is triggered when a Customer Support representative updates a customer record in the Companies table in the Catabay Customer Support PI02 app. Next, the pipeline uses the Fetch a Linked Record action to get the linked record in the Customers table in the Catabay Contracts PI02 app. 
you now need a condition to test if a linked record was found. This prevents an error in the pipeline if you try to update a record when the pipeline doesn't know which record to update. If a linked record does exist, then the pipeline updates the linked customer record in the Catabay Contracts PI02 app. If a linked record doesn't exist, then nothing happens. Let's return to the Pipeline Builder and help Chantel build this pipeline. First, name the pipeline. And then drag the updated record trigger. Select the account in the table. In this case, select the Catabay Customer Support PI02 Companies table. You can trigger the pipeline based on an update to a particular field or trigger on any field. For this pipeline, select Yes. It should trigger for any change to the fields. Select the fields to specify for use in subsequent steps. Drag and drop the Fetch a Linked Record action to the canvas for the next step. You must specify a resource, which is the linked resource to fetch this record from. In this pipeline, it's the company record from Step A. Click More to display the table option and select the Customers table in the Catabay Contracts PI02 app. The output fields are the fields you will be updating with data from the linked record. Select the various address subfields and other fields to update. You now need to add the condition to check if the linked record exists. If it does not, your pipeline will produce an error and stop. Click Add Conditions and select the record from Step B that you fetched in the previous step. The condition then checks if Record B exists. If the linked Record B does exist, then you are ready to update it. Drag the Update Record action to the canvas and drop it under the Then branch for the condition. The step correctly selects Record B for updating. Click Add Fields and select one of the fields you want to update in Record B from Record A. Repeat the process of clicking Add Fields and selecting the fields. In this case, select each field that was passed to the step. In the Available Fields panel, click A to open the list of fields. Drag the fields from Step A to the related input field in the current step. Note that you have the option to drag fields from Step A or Step B. This is an important difference and it's easy to confuse the two. You are currently updating the record fetched in Step B, so you need the values from the updated record in Step A. If you use the values from B, you won't see any changes. Before moving on, check that all the values reflect Step A. You may have noticed that the value for the Customer Name field uses the company name from Step A. Recall that the table names differ between the two apps, even though the data is the same. You are now ready to test your pipeline. Turn on the pipeline. The activity log displays and is waiting for the pipeline to be triggered. In the Customer Support app, find and edit the Arcadelphia Systems record created earlier and make some changes. Save those changes and return to the browser window with the pipeline activity log. You can follow the activity as the pipeline runs starting with the Record Updated trigger. It then fetches the linked record and branches with the IF condition. A linked record was found and the new record was updated. Look at the Contracts app and verify that the change was made. You did it! You helped Chantel create two pipelines. One to create and link records in two different apps and one to handle updates between the two apps. So far, you've seen only one type of linking available to you, with a link between a record in one QuickBase app to a record in another QuickBase app. The ability to link between records, however, is not limited to QuickBase. You can use the same functionality to link between systems. First, you can create a link between a record in your QuickBase app and a corresponding record in a third-party app, such as Jira. For example, Catabay is a small company and manages their customer support cases in QuickBase. If a ticket has a priority of 01 critical, then you need to open a ticket in JIRA and link the records. 
Once the ticket in JIRA is resolved, you update the case record in QuickBase. Pipelines can handle this for you. Similarly, you can link records between two third-party systems. For example, you manage your support cases in Salesforce and have a similar scenario where high-priority cases are added to a JIRA ticket and handled there. Once handled, the case in Salesforce gets updated. When linking with a third-party service, look for the Link option in the step and the related Fetch action available in the channel. Congratulations! In this lesson, you learned how to link records between two systems, in this case, between two apps. You also learned how to update records in two systems by fetching a linked record to update it at the same time you update the other record. Click Next to start the exercises and help send